Hello, I'm Simon Wood. Joining me today is Steve Adams, our technical application engineer. We're going to be talking to you today about Flow Planner. This is a revolutionary way of considering the placement and the routing lines for your PCB. Uh, this came as an idea when Cadence were visiting one of, their, one of their key customers and they noticed that the engineers were putting sheets of acetate on top of the screen and then using dry wipe markers to you know, kind of do a route plan or, or a little flow analysis to see if they could uh, uh, track the board without actually putting any routes down. Um, so Cadence thought why not put it in the tools uh, it's fantastic. It, when, when people start using this, it's going to make your life so much quicker. Um, Steve, anything to say about flow panel, or should we just dive in? I think we can just dive in. The, it kind of speaks for itself when you actually start to see the tool, Simon. So. Okay. Okay, going into the flow panel, the IFP mode, we can actually manually select a connection and then effectively create our own bundle. We can increase the size of the bundle by just adding rats to it and you can see the bundle growing there. This is then defined as the bundle that we want to use and then simply just by selecting and dragging it around we can obviously get to get the orientation and the position of where we want the routes to flow from and to. When we drag the end part of the bundle you can actually see the, the real rakes which show how the connections are going to come out together um, based on either end of the bundle. Once that's done, we can actually look at the bundle properties and pick a specific routing layer that we have for this design. So this bundle would then be routed on the top of the board. Moving on to the new design, we've got a fully ratted, ratted board which makes it very complicated to kind of see and plan. So we can look at the planning functions and look at the general properties. We can specify the thickness and the width of the bundle. We can also define where the connections go from and to. We can then effectively auto bundle the design automatically and let the tool based on constraint manager bundle the designs and you can see very quickly we've actually got a, a, a more sensible view to look at from different layers. If we zoom into one of the local areas we can actually create some space so we can select some of the bundles, zoom in and then start to just create space so we can actually plan that we want these routes to route along this path to give us more room going through this BGA.